Well, I'm back. I tried getting here last week, but uh, the gravel road that kind of leads to my road was super rutted up, and there was just no way I was getting through there. You know, with all the snow melt and everything, it made the road really soft, and there's a logging crew <clears throat> that's back in that road. That's like 10 miles back, and uh, they had it. They have tire chains on their tires and everything, so they had it really rutted up, but anyways, um, I came back today and uh yeah the road was in pretty good shape they uh dragged it and everything so uh this could be the last time that i pulled the sled in for the year uh there's a lot less snow now but uh there's still enough where you can't drive back but i don't know i'm, I'm hoping in like a week i'll be able to get back in here uh to the parking spot that's a half mile from my place but either way this could be the last time i pull the sled in so that's pretty cool Looky there, a nice big pile of fresh moose doo-doo. It's always nice to know that my friends are out and about. A little more moose sign there. It's good to see. And of course some wolf doo-doo. Check this out, there's my trail there. Just had to sled across dry ground. Check it out, the sun's out, it's 45 degrees and it's snowing. So check this out, I'm tearing up the floor of the shack here. And this will give you an idea of how they constructed it. And this actually held up for a long time. Like I said, I saw I know it was for sure around in the 1950s because there was um, pencil marks on the uh, boards that they, I think they were keeping track of deer because they used it as a deer camp. And it was like 1954 was the, I think the oldest um, date I saw on there. But here's how they did the floor. You can see just logs right on the ground and surprisingly they held up really well actually. Uh, I think keeping them dry and having good drainage helps a lot but you know, they just put a two by four down on top of the log and then set their uh, floor joist right on top of that. So if you're looking for a cheap way to do a floor, this seems to hold up pretty good actually. And you can see they got these little um, bins kind of uh, going down into the ground, you know, for food storage. But pretty cool, you know, and they just had one across the middle. And this is 12 by 14, the shack was. But yeah, it held up a long time like this. It's pretty impressive. I knew I'd find an antique or two down here. Here's an old whiskey bottle. Corby's Special Selected Canadian Whiskey. So these are these old steel bins that the previous owners had in the, in the floor of the shack. I'm assuming for food storage. But they're pretty nice metal bins, so I'm trying to figure out... A way to use them so if anybody has any ideas on what I can do for them um, I kind of want to do something cool with them rather than just have I was thinking about putting a bunch of kindling in them but I think I can find something cooler than that to do with them I just don't know what I'm not sure if you guys got any ideas let me know and then I'm, this is an old wood stove that they had too and it's it's burnt out on the bottom there but I'm trying to get the door off but I keep stripping the screws off that's holding it uh, holding it on there so I'm gonna have to cut it off, but I'll, I'm going to find a use for that too. 
Nice morning like this, birds chirping. I gotta get my porch built. And then here are the old whiskey bottles and a couple old beer cans that are pretty cool and vintage. I find a lot of beer cans around here. There was, there was definitely many a beers drank around here. But I'm going to try to incorporate, you know, some sort of a decoration out of, out of these and put it in the cabin, like on a shelf or something. Kind of clean them up and make them look cool as kind of a way to, you know, honor the people that had it before me. Because I think they had a pretty good time here. Plus the, the vintage stuff looks pretty cool. I think it'd look cool on a shelf in there. Well, winter's still here, and I'm already preparing for next winter. Uh, I know I, I said in an earlier video I want to get 8 to 10 cords put up, you know, because in next winter I can spend a lot a lot more time doing other things. Where uh, this winter it was pretty much, you know, that we got hit with snow so early that uh, firewood took a lot of time because there was so much snow. You, it was hard to get around, and it was pretty much cut, drag over, and uh, split um, every day, just about, so... Um, yeah, if I can have enough firewood put up for next year and have it nice and dry by the time I get back, that'll be, that'll be sweet. This is the floor of the old shack, obviously. I think this is going to be my woodshed. Uh, it's a, it's a good area where it gets a lot of sun, so it should dry it out pretty good. So that's kind of the plan the next few days is getting firewood. And, uh, it's like having money in the bank, you know, when you heat with wood. If you got it, your, your wood already put up, it's, your heat's already paid for for next, next year, you know. It's kind of the cool thing about this lifestyle is there's no utility bills. You know, you just got to get out and do it. But it's good exercise. It's a lot of fun. It's a nice day. And, uh, yeah, there's really nothing else I'd rather be doing. I like doing firewood. It's a lot of fun. So that's the plan the next few days. Get some, get some wood put up. I want to see this pile nice and tall. Um, all the way out, the whole length of the floor would be sweet. I'd, I'd feel pretty good about that. Plus, I got all this old shack wood. That I'm using for kindling, you know, it's, I already got, you know, that, that's sweet too, having all that, so, get a nice big bin of kindling put up, and then, uh, yeah, I have enough wood, I'll be, I'll be in style. Yeah, if you look, out in front of the cabin here, it's just a mess. All these wood chips are from me splitting wood out in front here all, all winter. I'd rake these up, but if you look, there's still, it's hard to tell, but there's still a good foot of solid packed ice underneath all these wood chips that's going to melt, and I know there's more wood chips in there, so, um, plus I don't have a rake out here, but I'll rake all, the, all these up and, and get rid of them when I can, and then all this wood out in front here, all these chips, I'm kind of burning up here since I don't really need a, all that hot of a fire at night. And just kind of getting rid of all the crap out in front here. Old spring cleaning. All right, I just uh, bucked all those up. A lot of these were actually um, stuff I cut down earlier last spring uh, when I was clearing land and stuff. So a lot of it's kind of partially dry already. So that'll be that'll be really good next year. But uh, I got enough here to keep me busy for a while. So we'll see how big I can get this pile tonight. All right, I still got some more to do here, but there's a look at the pile now. I'm going to go in and make something to eat right now and start uploading this video, I think. Since we're all kind of sitting around right now, I thought I'd uh, mention a, a few other channels uh, that you guys should check out if you want to check them out. Because, I don't know, YouTube's kind of a weird thing. You know, every once in a while you get a video that really takes off and then... Sometimes you make a video and it doesn't go anywhere. It's just kind of weird, and I think there's a lot of luck involved, and just just kind of how it is. But I want to uh, let you guys know about a few channels that are kind of up and coming, or that you know I haven't, or that haven't really gotten the um, recognition that I think they deserve. Because everybody knows the big channels, but there's a lot of really good ones out there that aren't aren't that big yet, but are, are you know probably will get big, but are you know kind of in the growing stages. And the first one I want to talk about is Cabin Dweller. Um, that's a lady, she lives up in the Yukon, and she lives in her own cabin, and she kind of posts every day, kind of like I do, just kind of everyday stuff, you know, kind of what she's doing, but it's really, really good channel, and uh, she hasn't uh, gotten the recognition that she deserves yet, so check that out. She's got a really good personality, really fun lady to watch. Um, another one is Homegrown Country Homestead. 
that's uh, they're just I, I don't know where they're located, but really you can just tell they're a really great family, and they kind of post every day stuff of what they're doing and projects, and uh, that's a really uh, addicting good good channel to watch. So check them out, and then um, the North Woodsman, I think that's what it is, is uh, that's a guy uh, in Canada. I think he's about my age, and, and yeah, like I said, he's in Canada and. He built a, a pretty cool little log cabin himself too, and, and I really like watching his videos. So, just thought I'd mention a few other channels if you guys are looking for stuff to watch or or looking for some new channels or something. Go go check those out. Uh, they're they're all really good. All right, well I think I'm gonna call this a video. Start uploading it. You know, I never know how long these are gonna take to upload. Sometimes it's two hours. Sometimes it's eight hours. Sometimes it takes eight hours and then it doesn't even work and I have to restart. So. You just never know. So I'm going to start uploading it right now, and we'll see you guys on the next video.